All right, another situation. Two channels are welded at the top of their flanges to form a box section. So, binigay yung figure na yan. Dalawang flange kinumbine natin. So, uh, this is used for a column. This is the cross section of the column. The column length is 6 meters. Then, binigay yung property, properties of each channels. So, ito yung isang channel natin. Yan. Kinumbine siya. You have the area of one channel, depth, beam flange, uh, thickness of flange, thickness of flange, flange thickness, or actually, hindi naman natin yung magagamit. Dapat yung flange thickness, T sub N. Anyway, then moment of inertia about x-axis and moment of inertia about the y, centroidal, centroidal y-axis. So, yung depth, that one, the depth is ito, 300 mm. Yung width of the flange is 80 mm. Ito yung isang channel. Yan, kinumbay natin. 80 mm yung ating flange. Uh, the same yan dito sa kabila. Yung local centroid ng isang flange, uh, binanggit dito, the distance from distance from the back of the channel to the centroidal y-axis, 17 mm. So, ito daw yung ating local centroid of the flange. Andito. It is located 17 mm from the back of the channel. Yan. Kailangan kasi natin yan later. Then, ito naman, the same sa kabila. Local centroid. And the uh, gross centroid, the total, uh, I mean the centroid of the gross section is, of course, nand andito yan sa gitna. Okay? So, unang tanong, due to load P, which is 1,000 kN, solve for the resulting compressive stress in megapascal. Tingnan natin. So, that is a column. Ginamit yan as a column. Andito yung ating P. So, of course, actually loaded kasi for column. So, force over area lang, no? Hinahanap is compressive stress. Uh, FA is equal to force over gross area. So, if that is 1,000 newtons, that becomes 1 million newton. Then, i-divide natin ng gross area. So, dalawang plants yan. I mean, dalawang channel. So, the area of one channel is 5,690 times 2. Gross area, 87.87 MPa. So, mag-ingat kayo dyan ha. Hindi nyo ma-multiply ng 2 kasi may lalabas dyan sa choices. Ganun siya ka, ano, ka to sa choices ka. Alright. Part the column is subjected to a moment of 270 kN about the x-axis. Dapat alam nyo, nyo yung mga word na yan. About the x-axis. So, it will bend about the y-axis. Ito yung bending moment natin. Kasi pag mali siya, ginawa nyo siya dito about the y-axis, meron pa rin lalabas dyan sa choices. So, dito yan. Ito yung x-axis natin for the cross-section. Pinaikot natin dyan. So, flexural stress is bending stress. MC over I. So, kung andito yung ating bending, um, magiging ano yan? MC over I X gross. Gross, ha? Gross, yung total cross-section. So, yung ating FB, yung C natin dito, Take note that yung C natin is always parallel sa moment. Ito yan. Yung C natin. To the farthest distance from the neutral axis. Baka mabalik tayo, gamitin nyo yung AT. Pero parang lalabas dyan. Napakadelikado nyan. So, parallel siya sa moment applied. So, ito yung ating C. 300 over 2. So, you have, if the moment is 270, times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter yung c is 300 over 2 the moment of inertia about the x axis hindi about the y axis for this problem kasi yung moment natin about the x axis that is 67 times 10 raised to 6 so take note dalawa na yan 
dalawa yung ating channel. So, times 2. We can do it times 2 diretso kasi the same na sila ng center, centroidal x-axis. Wala na tayong kailangan i-transfer using the transfer formula. So, you have 302.24 megapascal. Okay? Again, kung magkamali ka dyan sa pag-interpret ng uh, pag-apply ng moment, mayroong lalabas dyan sa choices. Part 3. Solve for the critical slenderness ratio of the built-up column. Use K, effective um, length factor yan, yung K, 1.0. So, binigay siya. So, this is assumed as uh, pin connected yung ating column at both ends. Alright. So, imagine natin, yung critical slenderness ratio, yan yung part kung saan pus, uh, mas madaling mabend or mag yung ating column. Uh, look at this figure. Pa napakahaba niya along the y-axis. Parallel to the y-axis. So, mahirap siyang events x. Tama? Mahirap siyang events x. So, basta walang uh, lateral support yung column natin. Wala namang binanggit. Yung critical slenderness ratio is about the x. Uh, I mean, about the y-axis. Mas madaling mag yung column natin about the y. Kasi... Napakaliit ng depth niyan. Compare dito. Again, basta wala lang lateral support. Walang support sa dito sa about the y-axis. Okay? So, for critical slenderness ratio, ito yung mga formula natin. Slenderness ratio is KL over R, where R is I over A. Ano yung I? Since magbabakal yan, critically sa y-axis, yung I must be IY for the gross section. Makinig dito. It will buckle at the Y-axis. Critical buckling yan sa Y-axis. Alright? So, dapat gross. So, take note, yung ating Y-axis, Y-axis of the channels are not, are not at the centroid. Meron silang distance here to the centroid of the gross section. So, dito, this time, we need to transfer that one using the um, transfer axis, uh, parallel axis, axis theorem, or transfer formula of moment of inertia. So, meron kang IY dito sa local section. Dito rin meron kang IY. So, ita transfer natin sila dito sa centroidal axis. So, ito yung formula natin. Summation of IY plus AD squared. Okay. So, ano yung distance? Yung IY, that is the uh, moment of inertia of each channel. Of each channel about the Y-axis. Andito yan. Yung area, that's the area of the one channel. Yung distance dyan, yung D, is the transfer distance. Now, from here, ita transfer natin siya sa uh, centroid of the total section. So, ito yung centroid ng isang channel. Ita transfer natin siya. That is 80 minus 17. You will have here 63. And the same on the other side. 63 din yan. Alright? Kasi symmetrical lang naman siya. So, pwede. Since dalawa yung transfer natin, yung uh, moment of inertia nito to the centroid, and moment of inertia dito to the centroid, at the same lang sila ng inertia, we can have it by, i-multiply lang natin ng 2. So, yung IY of the local channel is 2.1 times 10 raised to 6. Yung area ng isang channel is 5, 6, 90. That's for this area. And yung transfer distance is 63 times 63 squared. So, ito yung ating moment of inertia about the Y axis for the gross section. Total section na siya. Tinawag ko siyang IYG. Yung area natin dito must be the total moment of, ano, uh, total area of the cross section. So, dalawang channel yan. So, the area G is twice of 5, 6, 90. Okay, then i-apply natin sa dito. The maximum slenderness ratio, 1 yung ating K, yung L natin is 6 meter. Gawin natin siyang millimeter. 6,000 millimeter. Over R, where R is square root of inertia over area. Our inertia is ito. 
our area is ito. So, kuha natin 91.1 letter A. Again, kung magkakamali ka dyan, ha? Talagang meron lalabas sa choices. So, ingat talaga. Anyway, that's for this situation.